So CSS is used to style uh, web pages. So basically HTML will build the structure, structure of the web page and CSS will add the uh, styling to it. Like you can think of it as uh, HTML as the bones and uh, CSS as the muzzle. Okay. So basic structure is given by HTML. So earlier what happened was when people thought that uh, websites used to be very ugly, only blue lines used to be there. Maybe you can Google out like 1980s, 1990s websites. You will get the images. They, they were really bad. So people thought that maybe uh, we can we can increase or you can do the styling using HTML. So then they have added few features like uh, font and color and all the, all of them into HTML. Then the code started looking very ugly because you, you know every time you have to add this uh, font and size and uh, color all those in the code. But then the uh, websites were not also looking beautiful. Later, they thought that instead of adding the styling in HTML, let's keep HTML as it is and let's have sty cascading style sheets or style sheets in general. There are many style sheets. One of the style sheets is uh, cascading style sheets, which is very popular. So now we have, we then we got uh, CSS. Now let's see how to apply CSS how to apply styling into your website using CSS. So one way of it is called as inline, okay? So one way is called as inline. Inline means in the same line of the HTML tag, we are going to write the style, okay? So in the same line where the tag is there, in the tag itself, we will write the styling that is called as inline. And now other way is internal styling. So instead of writing it in the same line of the tag, we will write it in the head part, head part of the HTML. And we will write the CSS here by writing it within the style tag. I'll show you with examples. And then external means we are going to have an external file of CSS and we are going to link to that. I'll show you with examples. So here if you observe it, so HTML tag is there. In the same line, I'm writing this rule, this rule, okay? So style is an attribute, global attribute, which is which every element will have. So using the style attribute, we are saying that background should be blue. Background colon blue means background should be blue. So using the style attribute, we are saying this. So that is why it is in line. So in the same line, we are writing it. Okay. So the background will become blue like this. And then in case of uh, internal, we are going to have inside the head a style tag Inside this style tag, we are going to specify the rules. Now we are selecting, this is called selecting. We are selecting HTML and we are applying background color as red. Okay. So inside this style tag, which is inside the head, we are applying uh, style. Okay. Now, if you observe it in the, in case of inline, we can apply this style only to one element. And for every element, you have to apply it separately, which is very tedious. You cannot apply for all the elements. There can be many elements, right? So here it can be applied only to one element in line. And coming to uh, th this particular internal, it can be applied only to one file. Okay. If you have only one web page, you can apply it. If you have multiple web pages, again, you have to do the same in all the web pages, which means this part, this style, is applicable only to one file, which is nothing but one web page. So if you, if you have to style only one page, one web page, you can go with inline, sorry, internal, but the most popular one is external. What we are going to say here is, we are writing the actual CSS code in a special file or separate file called styles.css. And here we are providing the link to it. And we are saying this, you have to write this in the head, you have to say link inside the link, which is a self-closing tag inside the link tag, 
you have to specify relationship and href so relationship is nothing but what is the relationship uh, of with this file so it is a style sheet that is relationship that we have this is a style sheet now we have to say where it is located in the href so you can say it like this it is located in styles.css now we will see three examples for all of them now let us say let us see inline so we have a html file and we have an element called h1 to this h1 let us apply a style okay this is called inline the reason is we are doing it in the same line as the tag now let us say style background color equal to blue which means this particular let's open it this particular element will now appear in blue so background color of that is has changed to blue because you have given background color as blue now it has become blue now let's open internal styling in internal styling what we are going to do is inside the head we are going to open a tag called style now inside that style we will select h1 you can select any element like that how to select we will see it in the next class so you can select h1 and you can write the css rule so color is the property and what is the value red is the value color is the property then you can see that the color of the text is now in red okay it is not background color it is color means the font color and now let's see the external so you have to first create a style sheet dot css file then only you can apply external <coughs> we have created a style sheet and we have given the link of to the style sheet can you open the style sheet once yeah here you can write the rule css rule for h1 we want to apply color green now we have linked that style sheet here so it will automatically it will show you in the green letters okay so this is external so don't worry if you are not able to get it in this class as we move ahead we will do lot of things okay lot of a lot of hands on programming you will understand it then thank you